Welcome to our channel, where we dive deep into everything and beyond. Oda19 has just launched, introducing a host of exciting AI-powered features. However, many of these are exclusive to the Enterprise Edition. If you're using the Community Edition and want to leverage AI for, say, customer service on your website, you'll need an alternative approach. In this video, I'm sharing my experiment to address this exact scenario. Let's dive in. First, let's explore how website visitors interact with an AI assistant. The most effective method is a floating button on your website that, when clicked, opens a chat window for seamless communication. We've tackled a similar case before with Odoo 18 for blogs. While that experiment focused on blogs, the core techniques such as displaying the floating button and chat window are directly applicable here. If you haven't seen that video, check it out on my channel for a deeper understanding. Here's a quick recap of the key points from that video. We use techniques inspired by Oda's live chat module, leveraging Shadow DOM and similar technologies. The AI assistant used the current blog page as additional context to provide relevant responses. For this experiment, instead of scraping the web page for context, we're building a mini knowledge base to enrich the AI's responses. If you're familiar with AI terminology, this approach implements a form of Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. To bring this to life, we're using Nuido Flow and Autogen, with LM Studio as the AI backend. Now, let's break down the process. Since we're using Nuido Flow, we'll reference its terminology, like flows, nodes, and triggers. If you're new to this channel or unfamiliar with Nuido Flow, visit my channel page for introductory content to get up to speed. Here's how it works. When a visitor sends a message, we first determine whether they're a registered user or a guest. Based on their status, we trigger the appropriate flow. This setup requires configuring separate flows for registered users and guests. For guests, you can respond with a static message prompting them to sign in before proceeding, ideal if you have limited computing resources or want to encourage signups. Alternatively, you can enable AI responses for guests without requiring a sign-in. If AI is used, the flow incorporates an AI node supported by additional nodes like the chat completion node and chat responder node. To leverage the mini knowledge base, we created two new nodes, a memory node and a tool call node. These enable the AI to access and utilize the knowledge base effectively. Now, let's dive into the technical details. I'll focus on the major components of this experiment. The first key task was integrating the Odoo environment with Autogen. While Autogen supports AI tool calls, it doesn't allow passing variables to the function itself. I found a discussion on this limitation in Autogen's repository, issue number 5741, linked in the description, but no further details were available at the time of this experiment. To overcome this, I created a custom Odo function tool class by copying and modifying Autogen's original function tool code. Inheriting and overriding the class wasn't sufficient, as the required function wasn't exposed in Autogen's packages. The second major task was modifying the ChromaDB vector memory class to support our mini knowledge base. The original class didn't allow removing content in the way we needed. Since we wanted to enable editing of the knowledge base, we had to update or remove outdated data from the vector database. The simplest solution was to remove the existing data from ChromaDB and add the updated content. The third task was determining how to store knowledge in the vector database. Since the mini knowledge base consists of text, I used AI to summarize the content and store those summaries in the vector database. Nuido Flow facilitated this process, offering flexibility in how we summarize and manage content. Finally, we completed the implementation by adapting modules from our previous experiments, making minor adjustments as needed. And there you have it the experiment is complete. Here's the result.
Before we close out this video, I'd like to share a few final thoughts. This demonstration illustrates how to build an AI assistant for a website using Odoo Community Edition and the flexible features of Nuido Flow. However, please note that this example doesn't address important real-world considerations such as AI ethics, bias, hallucination, etc. These are critical factors to consider for responsible and secure AI implementation in practical applications. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the links in the description for more details.